I've created this very simplistic uh, three-act breakdown for you, which kind of oversimplifies uh, the three-act structure and, and kind of dumb, dumbs down the dramatic construction document that you have, which is uh, probably a little more exact and professional. But this is um, a, a nice way to look at how films are constructed. And you can see that I have it broken into the three acts, you know, the beginning, middle, and end which you'll all agree, I hope, that in uh, the majority of feature films that you see out in the movie theater are all based on this uh, formulaic three-act structure. Of course, there are the exceptions, um, experimental films, uh, short films that tweak this a bit, but they're all pretty much following this three-act structure. Um, and then within the acts, you can see that I have then sequences. Uh, you have two in act one, you have two in act three, uh, and act two you have four so you have a total of eight um, and they're pretty much broken in on um, you know uh, 30 minutes for that first act uh, act two you're gonna have an hour and act three you're gonna have 30 minutes and that's usually you know that's again oversimplified act one sometimes is a little bit longer act two can be a little shorter and act three can be a lot shorter act three can you know be uh, you know, completed within 10 or 15 minutes. Um, but this is just a nice way to look at it. And you can see that the point of attack usually happens in that first sequence, and the predicament usually happens, you know, within that first 30 minutes. Uh, that first culmination comes right in the middle of your film. Uh, the second culmination comes at the end of, of Act 2. Uh, you have your climax there in the beginning of, of Act 3, and then your resolution. Um, and so when you're you know watching a 120 minute film um, based on a 120 minute screenplay, you know each page is about a minute. Um, you know you can use this as a tool, um, and it can help you identify uh, these various various plot points. Again, this isn't perfect math. Uh, you know you have a film like Saving Private Ryan, um, and that first sequence is well over 15 minutes, uh, and and uh, so, you know, you have to, and you have a suspense film, a horror film, they're going to be, you know, closer to uh, 100 and, uh, well, an hour and 30 minutes or 90 minutes. So things get tweaked. Um, uh, you know, you have a short film that's 15 minutes long. Sure, you're still going to have a three-act structure, but instead of that point of attack happening in the first five minutes, it'll probably happen on the first page. Um, so, you know, just kind of use this as a rule of thumb as you're working on this Unforgiven and Goodwill Hunting project. Um, but I hope this helps you out a bit.